So you just finished welding up your titanium exhaust or intercooler piping and you want to get that nice blue color to it. On well, this video I'm going to show you how to take care of that. So some of the things you'll need, obviously you need some sort of titanium work. Uh, this also works on, I mean, anything that's made out of titanium, whether it be a knife or a spoon, plates. I've seen people color all sorts of titanium. But being this is an automotive related channel, I assume it will be some sort of intake, intercooler piping, or an exhaust piece. So what you'll need is your titanium piece. You need a clean pair of gloves. I'm gonna recommend using propane. Uh, it's easier to control. And if you use like oxyacetylene, it's a colder heat than oxyacetylene, so it's more controllable. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cheap. Uh, these little bottles are about like four or something uh, near me at your local hardware store. And the little torch setup you can get for like 20 bucks at Harbor Freight. And obviously you need some way to polish the pipe. Now, you can polish your pipe however you like. Um, I'm going to be using this wire wheel, I'd already buffed my welds out. And that's pretty much the key to getting your titanium to look like this versus some pictures you might see online, I'll superimpose some right now, where you see a lot of blotchy and where the welds are, it's discolored. The key is you got to polish the whole pipe evenly first. And to add to that, the degree of which you polish your pipe will also reflect how bright the color is. Um, so, the duller the metal is, as you can see right here, this piece isn't reflecting so much light like here where it's not polished. But then you get over here where it's already partially polished and it's reflecting a lot more light. Well, when you add the color to the steel, or titanium rather, I mean it's still steel, but when you add the color to that, it's going to reflect more of that light back to your eyes, thus it being a brighter color. So you really want to take your time and polish your pipe. Now, while you're polishing it, you want to put a clean pair of gloves on. You don't want to get any oils or any dirt on the material while you're polishing it. So we'll go through polishing this. Um, I'm not going to show the whole process. You can look up how to polish metal and you know another avenue. Um, but after you're done polishing it, you want to take acetone and you want to acetone the whole part. And after acetoning it is when you're going to want to position the part and start putting heat into it. Um, now it takes a little bit of time to get the heat into it. So while I'm heating the pipe and showing the video, I'm going to do a little voiceover just talking about like what I'm seeing and how I'm doing it uh, to get you through it. So now there's many different ways you can color your pipe. Um, for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to yellow the whole pipe. And then pretty much where the welds are, I'm going to try and get it to a nice blue. And uh, down here, for me, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to be trimming this back and then an air filter is going to be going there. But uh, So I'm going to start and I'm going to evenly heat the whole pipe as best I can yellow. And then from there, I'll focus in on the pie cut sections and uh, get them like a deeper blue. And you'll see... So here we are, we're going to start by just heating up the whole pipe. First thing you'll notice is that it'll get yellow. And once you get everything kind of like tanned yellow, what I like to do is just move around, keeping the heat even until I start to see a purple. And once it goes from purple, it'll be real quick till it goes blue. So depending upon what color you want, you know, you got to watch that. Um, it's easier to hold it at a purple, but once you get into the blue, it'll go from blue to white very quick. Well, it'll go from dark blue to light blue really quick. There you can see I'm starting to get the blues, which is the desired effect I'm looking for. If you have a certain spot that isn't heating up as much as the others, you can kind of jab it quick just to make sure you get it to match the like surrounding area. But you got to be careful with that because if you let it go a little bit too long, it'll get to that light blue and uh, there's no way to bring it back then from that. 
other than, like I said, cleaning the entire pipe and uh, going back over it. Now here you can see blending it in with other colors is just the same. You just gotta make sure you work the colors evenly and pull it over, so to speak. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you have any questions about how I did anything here, please leave a comment down below. And if you enjoy fabrication and automotive videos, please subscribe for more stuff.